Welcome to Ozarks Live. I'm Cammie. And I'm Blake. And it's a wonderful, beautiful Tuesday here in the Ozarks. I can't complain. It is gorgeous. Yes. It's also, holy. I just want to point out really fast, I love this dress on you. You look oh, amazing thanks, today. Blake. You're welcome. Uh, I love this shirt on you. Cammie, stop <laughs> it. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. But hey, we want to talk about something that's fun to us and important to us, which is the Amazing right. Race season premiere. So yes. we're already a weekend, which is crazy, but I'm that so means excited. Episode two is tonight. It's tomorrow night. Tomorrow night. Yes, that's what it's I, Tuesday that's what and I Wednesday. Yeah, yeah that's you were just I testing meant. me. I Absolutely. Was. Yeah, I was testing everybody. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, okay, so let's get into thoughts, it. Though? Okay, okay, so we've got 12 teams yeah. this season, and it is a really, like, in my opinion, pretty stacked cast so far. Like, there's a lot of good duos to root for. Yes. There's like, there's not that like people are ever like not interested in the game, but like, <laughs> there's like, there's a lot of duos that are like really in it to win it and like are really going to be competitive, which really excites me. Well, the thing about being competitive in this game, it is physical. It is like emotional because yes. they have to like keep getting long and yes. even when they're tired and everything. Yes. And it's also like intellect, like the mm -hmm. puzzles and things like that that they have to solve. So yeah. it's very multifaceted. For sure. And you know, one of my favorite things we always talk about with Amazing Grace is like duo dynamics and how that <laughs> Comes into play. And It'll I'm make you still, or break you. I know, and I'm like, I'm still not totally sure on like if I was playing the Amazing Grace, which probably would never happen. But like, who exactly I would want to um, pair with? Wait a because minute, I'm like, I just don't wait, know. Wait, I thought the choice was obvious. I oh mean, well, like, like obviously you and I would do obviously. amazing together, yeah. obviously. Uh -huh. But it, it's just interesting because it's so important. This season we see a lot of um, romantic couples competing, which is always which could be one bad. of yeah, which I think is always one of the more interesting dynamics to see because. You either got like a really healthy couple that communicates super mm -hmm. well, or you've got couples that like their fights and like they differences kind of come to play. Yeah, all yes. of it comes out. Yes. So all of this was shown in the premiere. Um, so as we talked about last week, this season there's no non-elimination leg. So once you're out, you're out, which is a brand new twist for Amazing yep. Race. And they were shocked to hear that yeah. because that's also pretty scary. Yes. Because if you come in late no one second time, chances. you are done. Yep. Once you're out, you're mm -hmm. out. Um, also, another twist they introduced in the premiere was this thing called the scramble twist. I, I can't say for certain that they've never done this before, but it definitely hasn't been done long, in a long time, if mm -hmm. so. So the scramble twist, typically on Amazing Race, right? Um, you go like clue to clue. So you do like one challenge and you get your next clue to do the next right. thing, right? Well, on this premiere, instead of doing it that way, instead, they basically told you what like all three would be, all three of the challenges at once, and you got uh -huh. to pick where you would go. Okay, right. The crazy right. thing is, okay, that I think like where it brings in maybe the, the level of difficulty is that you're never exactly sure where everyone stands because when you're doing the challenges oh, back to back, you right. know, your placement, you know? Right. But if you're choosing at your own pace, the three different challenges you're doing. If you get doing, there first, you could be actually in last place yeah. because you just weren't, yeah, yeah. anyway. Yeah, which was kind of funny though because I think for a lot of them on this specific premiere when they were getting to that pit stop, they had no <laughs> idea what place they were. They were yeah. like, are we first? Are we out? Thankfully, they are we somewhere found in the middle? A lot of people that spoke English yes. <laughs> so yeah. they can understand. Yeah, absolutely. Going, right? So, but it was kind of funny. These three little challenges. Um, I was telling our other producer on the show, Charles, um, this morning that I feel like these challenges weren't super difficult compared to what we see sometimes on the Amazing Race. Mm -hmm. um, but it was still they. They were funny and they definitely challenged some of these couples already. So there was like a wood one where you and your partner, there was like a big um, like log of sorts uh -huh. and you had to take a big saw and go back and forth to get a piece of it to come off and it had to be right. a complete full piece. Which sounds like it takes strength, but the people that were doing the best were the I ones know. that were working a little bit smarter with like yeah. smaller, well, like. Yeah, and yeah. it's interesting because you think like, okay, that that's not that hard, two of you sawing <laughs> off a piece of wood together, you but it, some of them it proved to be pretty right. difficult. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Then there was the ice challenge where they had to smash a big piece of ice and then get something out of it, which was interesting. Which if it was starting to melt by the time you got there, you did a little better than yeah. if you got there earlier. Yeah, I don't so, think I would do well to smash in the ice, but it's And sometimes their editing makes me wonder too because it makes it look like some people go through really fast. Yes. It's like, well, did they or was that the editing right. magic, you know? Yeah, that part is always interesting uh -huh. as well. The third um, challenge they had to do was like this more racing one where um, there was kind of a little course set up for them, if you will, yeah. with hay barrels and like and a rain. And they thought you were supposed to go over them, but you had to go around them? Yeah, it looked kind of yeah. hard, but it was time. So you had like, yeah. I think it was a minute and your partner went down one way and you had to come back the other and it uh -huh. had to be under a minute or you had to redo it and you had to keep redoing it until you got it under which she would get more and more tired yes. every time so you would get slower yes. you would think instead of faster yes, yes. So, so like I said who are your picks oh man okay so let me just say this really fast yeah. okay yeah. so Derek and Claire the um, the couple from Big Brother they won the first leg yeah. okay and then 
We had Asta. <laughs> They've done reality. Now, yeah, but it they're not they're the doing it show. again. Here they are. <laughs> and then we had um, Asta and Tina. They were eliminated um, and engaged. Mm. Um, couple and oh man, here's the thing. They got really caught up in that racing part with the barrels. They like could not get it together. But I was kind of like, meh. I didn't really have a huge attachment to them. Well, excited for Derek. Not really attached to anybody yet. Are yeah. You? No, I will say. So we did like some um, some preseason or some uh, some potential winner picks earlier today, and yeah, I, I yeah. really think mine might be Derek and Claire. And it's not just because they won first place this first time. It's because oh, I've right. seen them on mm -hmm. Big Brother before, and I really think they're going to do a good <laughs> it's job. Not because they're already in first place. No, uh, okay. they seem to work really well. I'm together. going for the cheerleaders. Okay, I like it. That's a good. They, they seem surprised to work me. together well. Have good communication. They worked together really well. They got third place on this first leg, so they did really well. They shocked me at least. I don't know how other viewers felt about it, but yeah. it's exciting. I'm excited to it see is. where the rest of the season goes. It'll be fun. So tomorrow it'll be good. night. Tomorrow night, right here <laughs> on CBS after Survivor. Yes. All right. Well, coming up next after the break, Thomas.